Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where... I, I don't know if this is a bug or what. It feels like every time I start a new episode, we have around 30,000 manpower, but then it just immediately disappears. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I've been noticing that when I load up the save, we have almost exactly 30,000 manpower usually. I don't know, maybe it's a display bug? Regardless, I don't think, with the amount of manpower we need, I don't think 30,000 manpower every, like, couple months is going to add all that much in, even if that is what's happening. So, there is that. However, we've got a few things that are going on here. We're trying to spearhead through here. We're trying to encircle all of these guys. Now, keep in mind, there is a naval base here, and it's a level 8 naval base. So, this is not going to completely cut them off. What it is going to do is hopefully let us link all of this up. And I've also ordered directly this unit here to walk all the way down here and link all of this. So hopefully that'll actually work. Of course, this push down here is still proceeding and there's still very few troops over here. They are responding to it, but not very much. The troops are still mostly over here, in this area, although they have been pulling some troops out of there, I've been noticing. But overall, they're still over here. And that's fine. I think this is okay. So what does this spearhead actually look like? Well, it looks like this. I would like to widen this area, for sure. There's no doubt about that. I'd love to push these guys out of here, or these guys out of here, but this would be better. Pushing them out of this tile here. And how might we want to do that? Well, for now, we're just going to hope that we don't lose this and get encircled. That would be problematic if it did happen. We're trying to do an encirclement here, and we don't want to get encircled ourselves. So we're going to push in over here. They have some troops over in this area, but I think we can make our way in easily enough over here. They are responding by sending troops this direction. That's not shocking. And this push over here is proceeding nicely. So that is wonderful. Let's take a look at our construction here. I haven't looked at this in a little bit, it feels like. Yeah, that's going okay, I think. How are we doing? So we're still at 202 damaged civilian factories. That number feels like it's holding steady right now. And considering that we're constructing infrastructure, that's not hugely surprising. I'm going to hold off on queuing up additional infrastructure over here. What I am going to do is make just this one top priority. Everything else can work on infrastructure for now. Okay, how are we doing in our air, air war here? Our air defenses in most regions are doing okay. We're still having some issues up over here. Not our full number of planes have arrived here yet. And if we were to click on this... We do actually have full air superiority here. Am I just blind? That looked yellow to me. It definitely looks like a different color, but I mean, I am colorblind, so maybe I'm not the best judge of that. Regardless, we do have some areas where, over here in particular on this front line, where the allies substantially outnumber us. And to that end, I'd like to go into the strategic air mode, and I want to bump up our fighters here up to a thousand. Now, this isn't going to happen immediately. Absolutely not. I'm going to leave the bombers at 500, but I want the fighters up at a thousand. I want to double our air superiority over here. These are correct. Yes. That's what they should be. Okay, let's deselect these for the time being, and I've gotten myself a little confused here, but this looks good. Okay, so we don't have the planes to fill this out right now, and I'm aware of that. We will go ahead and attach these up to a thousand as well. There are no planes attached to these armies, and I'm going to leave it that way for right now. Okay, so in theory, we... How many planes do we have in stock? We shouldn't have that many. Uh, if we go into our logistics here... 
I think we should be negative planes right now. Yeah, we're minus 439 currently. We are producing 9.7 per day. So, and, and that's over and above our losses, I believe. Uh, if we go into our production here, 9.74. Are we just not taking losses? That doesn't seem right. Maybe that's not over and above our losses. Regardless, we're going to be producing more Fighter 3s soon enough. I'm also going to toss another t 10 factories and double our number of jet tactical bombers that we're working on. For now. Okay, so I don't expect this to have any sort of an immediate effect here. Let's continue pushing our way in. Yeah, they're trying to stop this encirclement. This is not surprising. They don't like what's happening here, and they shouldn't. They should not like what's happening here. Okay, so we're just trying to push in something like this, and that's fine. We're also trying to grab some territory over here. These guys are heading over this way, and that's definitely a concern. But for now, we're, I think, going to get extremely thin on this line. I don't think there's any real way around that. Other than assigning additional units over there, I suppose. We do have more units on the way over, though. So that's good. What are these guys assigned to here? They're actually assigned to the Coast Guard. And I'm going to assign them into this unit instead. Okay. How are we doing on our training? Well, we're lacking manpower. We have manpower in some of these. We're lacking manpower in this unit. This unit is going to lack manpower. Yeah. So we need manpower in a lot of these units. This isn't surprising to me. This is actually fairly expected. This right here is the one thing that I don't like about what we've got going on here. I'm going to select these units of tanks and tell them, try to push in here. I don't expect them to actually succeed. But let's see what they do. Eh. Can you get in here and help? There we go. Yeah, well... Mm, eh. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Okay. So we are continuing to press forward over here. We've got a big old bulge here, and I do... Notice that we've linked up over here. That's fascinating. I'm going to tell this guy to actually come out over this way. Something like this. This guy's making his way southward. We're going to come in like this with this unit. Okay, we'll call that good for now. So we have linked up over here. Which, in theory, means that we should remove this order. Right? Right, but we should order this guy to come, like, over this way. Like this. However, overall, this order should be removed. And this becomes the front. Okay. If we manage to get this cut off and get these guys encircled and manage to stack wipe them, that's going to be huge. That's all a big if. The United States broke our ciphers. Speaking of which, can we work on their ciphers again? No, that's still cooling down, I think. Okay. Sounds good. I did want to check in what's going on with their uh, capture cipher, huh? Okay. I did want to check in on what's going on with their fascism. It's holding firm. Now, we're a long ways away from the election, and that's definitely something to consider. However, it's 17 February 1973. Our war propaganda timeout, since we're doing it manually because of the bugginess of that system, our war propaganda timeout was on 14 February, which means that we could run our war propaganda. The problem is we don't have the political power. So we'll have to wait. Okay. That's fine. So we're trying to push our way in here. 
I wouldn't mind this guy grabbing Konigsberg. Doing something like this. So we're trying to clear up this area back here. These guys don't have any orders assigned. What are they part of? Okay. This should all be assigned to this order. Except for this guy. Who was doing this. That's fine. Or something along those lines. This is so messy over here. It's kind of hard for me to see what's what. Okay, this is a better view of that. We're cut off over here right now, and that's not good. The Russian Federation has this unit here. Hit him. From multiple sides. Get that guy out of there. Good. So that'll allow us to link that up and take this territory, in theory. Okay. And you're doing something like that. And grab Riga after. Okay, how are we doing over here? Mediocre is the answer. Actually, we're doing kind of okay. These American troops here are going to probably be a problem for us. Let's check in on our air over here. See how that's going. Okay. I think a lot of these... In air mode here. Yeah. We're definitely short on our number of fighter threes. Hello, pause menu. We're definitely short on our number of Fighter 3s. There's no doubt about that. Have we pushed down into any resources over here yet? Eh, there's these up here, but not really a lot of resources. Okay. So this is Army Group 1 that is assigned to this. Who is Army Group 1? Okay, that's these guys. Are there any divisions assigned to this? I don't believe so. We're going to remove that for now. That order is currently not necessary. Ooh, this is bad. This is very bad here. This was what we were afraid of. Now, we are currently winning this. We need to get additional units into here. Right now. Get in there. Okay. We're currently losing this, but we have to hold this corridor open. To that end, these tanks are all going to attack here. Are you attacking here? You can attack here as well. Okay. This corridor has to be held open. If this corridor falls, we have big, big problems. Otherwise, things are going okay over here. I'd like to walk, honestly, like this. Okay. How are things going in faction mode here? Right. So you're doing something like that. Let's honestly have you come like this. Yeah. Yeah. And we're working on cleaning up all of this over here. Okay. So this push is working. Is this working? If we can take Kozlin, that's a huge deal. They have a fair number of troops there, and it looks to me like this is a pretty unlikely fight right now. Taking this and widening this corridor would be also huge. So let's see what we can do there. We're trying to link up over here right now. And I think that we can pull that off. So that's the idea right now. The provisional government of Czechoslovakia. They are not ready yet. How are things going over here? Uh, looks about the same. This looks like a big old stalemate over here. That's about what we expected. Apparently, we are stronger, but we're not actually attacking because our organization is too low to advance in many of these cases. We are lacking in motorized, towed anti-tank, support equipment, towed artillery, and infantry equipment. And I believe these are supplied from our subject nations. 
So they're just not producing enough. We could lend lease it. That is an option. Is it just me or are they retreating here? Yeah, we're actually going in. Okay, so we're pushing them there. That's great. This offensive, though, this is where our focus needs to be right now. So we have widened this corridor here. Now the danger point is here. I'd love to take this location here, but that is nine total units there. And I think that that's pretty unlikely at this exact moment. Help out here. Okay. Those guys just got stack wiped, I guess. Cool. Well, we're just going to push in. <laughs> and link this up is the idea. We're attacking here to hold these guys off. I like that move. That's a good move. Now, how are we going to do this once we actually get the wraparound done here? Which we're very close to doing. This corridor is still nice and wide right now, or wide enough, I guess. Okay. How close are we to moving in here? We're about halfway? These guys are going to get pushed back. That's great. They're retreating this way, which is not ideal. Unless this is an overrun. I suppose that could be an overrun. Okay. So, just looking at the way that this divided up. Let's look at these guys here. So, these guys would be responsible for dealing with, like, all of this. So, in theory, we take them out of the army group. We remove this from the army group. And we put them in a line like this. We would also need to delete these, in theory. Can you go back to Danzig, please? Thank you. I prefer you in Danzig. Okay. And then these guys, while they're outside of this army group, their mission would be to offensive line, honestly, there. We do that, and these guys are in substantial danger. But... I think what we'll do is we'll have an offensive line, something like that. 12 and 12. Go ahead and execute that. And these guys are now along this line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this line, and we're going to extend this front line down to here. And then we're going to grab these guys and extend this front line up to here, like that. We're going to try to meet the two fronts. That's the idea. We'll see how successful we are with this. Now, I suspect that these guys are probably not going to be enough on their own to deal with this. But we'll see. So we'll get moving here. Get these redeployments underway. They've linked back up here. That's not good. Now we're moving in over here. We absolutely need to link this back up. Keep this linked. Get in there. We may need to reform those lines. We'll find out. Okay, it's one march. We did just get a reinforced tick. That's nice. Are they going to get there before us? I don't know. Yes, they are. That is very unfortunate. Okay. We need this corridor closed. And how do we want to do that? We don't have any tanks up here right now, really. Yeah, that's the core issue, is that we don't really have tanks here. Okay. Wait, the U.S. is just walking through. They're not really garrisoning this right now. Well, let's continue moving. 
for the time being. I'm wondering... Yeah, we need to take this back. That's the core... The, the biggest thing that we need right now. These guys are already heading that way. We'll allow them to go for the time being. Okay, how are we doing on this push over here? Have we bogged down? Maybe a little. A lot of these guys are not really moving in. I'm going to actually move this to aggressive over here. And hopefully the AI will handle that. Guys are moving in here because we don't have units up here. We need units. Actually, Army Group 2 is very wide here. Very, very wide. Or Army 2, rather. I think... Well, that's Army 5. Okay. We have a lot of units on the way over from over here, looks like. Yeah, that's kind of grim. However... We might still be able to pull this off as our units come up. Ooh, this happened, though. That's not good. Tanks, get in there. Push them out. We have to keep this linked. That said, there's some linking happening over here. But man, they are not cooperating with us. Not that we'd expect them to cooperate with us, to be clear. But yeah, we're we're struggling to get our units in position right now. And we have some units way back here. I'm wondering how exactly that ended up happening. They're going all the way around, which is awkward. Yeah, that I think is the fundamental issue here. We have units pathing all the way over this way. Hmm. Okay. Can we not path this way, please? So we're going to need to select these guys and remove this order. And this order as well. So we need to select all of these guys, put them on to here. Then this army here, army two, these guys need to link this up. That has to happen. But now they should actually be coming over this way, at least. So there's some of that. You don't have an order assigned to you. This is Army 5. Why does Army 5... Ah, because they need to be over here. Right. Yeah, the AI got really confused by that. And that was the problem. So we are currently winning this. We need to link up over here. Now we're losing this. The AI got really confused and ordered our units to go in really weird directions. That's the problem here. It was not what I intended for the, the units to do. And now we've got some potential issues. We need to attack here. In fact, basically all of these guys need to attack here. I'm trying to deselect this unit. That selects only that unit. Okay, there we go. Get in here. We have to link this back up. And you can stop. Okay. You are to link this up. Yes, I realize that you're going to get cut off. We just don't have enough units in this pocket right now because they all started going up this way to try to walk around. That was really lame. Like, just keep the corridor open. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll try to open this back up. They're moving more units in here. This is looking kind of grim. We may need to just do a complete punch out. Try to get these guys just to head up to Danzig. That may be what's necessary here. And 
You can go to Konigsberg. Because it looks like we're not going to reopen this corridor. Everybody to Danzig. You, Konigsberg. Okay. Yeah, this is not great. Not great at all. This was what I was afraid of with doing this. But it's all because the AI misunderstood my orders. I did not intend for us to start sending units up and around the Nordic Sea. <laughs> that was definitely not something that should have been expected. Unfortunately, we're going to see some stack wipes here. And there's not a lot that we can do about it, I think. It is, however, time for a cut. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in here. And next episode, we'll see if we can salvage these guys. Hopefully. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.